You're watching Gears. You know, one of the cool things about building a custom car truck these days is that there is a ton of parts available to help you build exactly what you want. Now, of course, that's not really new. I mean, the aftermarket, it's been around since pretty much the beginning when people realized just how cool it was to modify vehicles. What is new, though, is the whole nostalgia market. It's been growing for the last 10 years or so. Now it's possible to build a vehicle that looks like it rolled right out of another era using all new parts. And that is great. But none of this would be possible if it wasn't for one particular product. I mean, a product that drives this whole market and absolutely sets the whole tone and the attitude of your project. Yeah, I'm talking about tires. You gotta have them. And if you're gonna build a nostalgic or a period correct vehicle, you have got to have some vintage tires. Where are you gonna find them though? I mean, you're not gonna go down to Firestone and buy something like that anymore, or Goodyear, or BF Goodrich, or anybody. Where do you go? That's what we're gonna show you. Let's take a road trip. The place is called Coker Tire. It's located in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the owner is a full-on 100% Southern car nut by the name of Corky Coker. Now, just in case that you think this is just some average, boring tire store, oh, think again. Everywhere you look is a vintage car. The corners are all filled with old Harleys or Indian motorcycles or Excelsiors. It is an automotive experience. However, when you wander back into the warehouses where all the tires are kept, the magnitude of this operation and what they do here really starts to sink in as you start to see rows and rows of tires that haven't been built in years. What are these here? Stacy, these are uh, 475 16s. We sell a lot of those for front runners of hot rods. I see you got a lot of the wide whites too. Now that, we do. are you kind of the only guys that do that? We, uh, all of our tires are made in the original molds or made in new molds from the original drawings, and we do a lot of wide whites. This is a, an A2015, went on like a 47 Cadillac up to about 1953. Guys that want to drive that car and want it to look exactly correct, that's exactly the tire to have. Better than putting the old white paint on the side. Huh? Or, or Porter Walls, <laughs> you remember those? Oh yeah, Porter Walls. stuck on there, yeah. Oh, and they'd flap. And you had a tire that you, uh, that, uh, that you made for a World War II Nazi vehicle, right? Absolutely, we it's have. It's a little ironic there, isn't it? It is kind of fun, it's kind of fun to have, you know, walk through my warehouse and you'll see these, you know, uh, tires for Kubel wagons and yeah. Schwimm wagons and World War II Nazi vehicles and down next to the beat it says, made in the USA. You kind of like that. We kind of like that, that's kind of fun. <laughs> You'll even see some stuff that you never even knew existed. These are called high pressure tires. Okay. They fit uh, cars pre-1920 and the rim diameters are 23 inch and greater. There are rim diameters upwards to 29 inches, but not low profile wides like you see, yeah. you know, the bling bling stuff. The, these aren't the big donk these, tires. The, huh? These aren't donka donk <laughs> tires. These, this right here is for brass era cars. And okay. they're Goodrich Silvertowns. And we've got more high pressure tires than anyone else in the world. Now, part of the problem with owning a really early model car is not only finding tires, but also rims. <laughs> it's most of the originals have long since rotted away. So, to fill that need, Coker actually makes new rims so that these cars can keep rolling safely down the road and not end up stuck in a museum somewhere. From shearing it out of a piece of sheet metal, from shearing it to rolling it to welding it, grinding it, and then rolling it into the drop center style, about an hour. Now, speaking of rims, and the fact that tires are really no good without them, it would make sense to offer complete wheel and tire combinations, wouldn't it? Well, that's what Corky thought too. When they buy a tire wheel assembly, we have the ability to match the rim to the tire, and we've got the equipment to do that, so we ship them out and they're perfectly matched. They're ready to go. Ready to go. So, at this point, you have got the most unique tire store on the planet. It's got one of the most amazing car and motorcycle collections out there, and on top of that, the president and CEO is also the chairman of SEMA. Yeah, it's an amazing story, but there is one more chapter to it. What do you think a guy like Corky Coker would do as a hobby? I mean, bungee jump, skydive, something like that, right? Oh, no. No, he does something much more dangerous than that. 
he plays the banjo in the South. <laughs> and in true Coker fashion, he's really good at it. These clips are great, but to see where Country Legacy lives in full episodes, go to CountryRoadTV.com.